It first started in 2012, uh, our New Zealand manager, Neil Barr, um, was actually reading in the paper one Saturday morning how if you were a young Māori Pacific Islander and you came out of school without any qualifications, you had virtually zero chance of getting a, a job and starting a reasonable career. And it was a point unemployment in New Zealand was going up, uh, times are really tough for young people. So he took the initiative, contacted uh, Mark Solomon, and through conversations they worked out something they could do and uh, our cadet program evolved from that. Well the vision is that uh, these young people will have the opportunity to go on and become great leaders uh, in our industry and we're in the property industry, um, now Naitahu being a, a large iwi in New Zealand have large property holdings so there's, there's potential for them to grow but look if we can do uh, the basic uh, training and education to get these people into the workforce and to become leaders in whatever fields they choose from then we've uh, done really well. Tēnā koutou, ko Auraki Te Maunga, ko Oraka Aparimo Te Hapu, ko Max Te Wika Toka Ingoa. Personally, the main benefits of being a cadet is uh, being able to work in a professional environment and learn from people that have you know, gone through it all before and you know, just, just learning lots from really, really good people. It does make the project more meaningful, um, being part of Ngātahu and being able to work on Ngātahu projects. Um, it's just the whole idea of giving back to Ngātahu through my work. Ko Auraki te Mauka, ko Waitaki te Awa, ko Kāti Māmo i Rawa, ko Waitaha te Hapu, ko Anthony Gray te Hukuruma. The best thing about working for Oricon would be the work experience. The work experience and knowing when I come out of my diploma, I've, I'll have five years under the belt and I'm, I'm able to go places with that. In five years I think I'll, I'll be an engineer, I'll be finished my diploma, I'll, um, I'll be ready to make the next step, next step towards being a civil engineer. Tēnā koutou katoa, ko Maximilian Tūtauna Kumanahira ko Rākau Tapuingua, ko Naitahu te Iwi, ko Rāpaki o te Raki Whakaputa, te Hapu, ko Whiki te Marae, ko Tamati e Pōkai Whenua te Maunga, ko Whakaraupo te Maunga, ko Tūtahonuku ko Rākau Taku Papa, ko Christine ko Rākau Taku Mama, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. I actually saw the Oricon cadetship uh, on the Naito website and it really interested me. I think it was really to do with being part of the rebuild and also as it was through Naitahu, so a kind of um, like my contribution to the iwi. I get massive support for the tribe, whether it be from the whole Bowden catching up with me and actually uh, seeing how my progress is going and make sure that I'm alright as in through the cadetship. So yeah, it's a massive support from, from my iwi. My role in the iwi capability team is to look after several of the programs under our uh, iwi capability framework, so Oricon, um, Cadetship being one of them. So it's my role to um, ensure the relationship with Oricon is a positive one and is ongoing so that we can ensure success to the program because that's pretty key. Um, I also look after them in terms of pastoral care, so um, build that relationship with them so that we can talk developmentally um, or sometimes even personally what's going on with them and keep them on track and make sure they're getting what they need from both Oricon and Ngaitahu. So, that's a really key component of my role that I enjoy very much. You know, I'm pretty proud of them. Uh, they're doing exceptional projects and the feedback that we get from not only the manager at Oricon but the line managers individually is that they're doing really great things. And What we're aiming to do with the cadets is not only build their capacity to be professional draftsmen or you know, professional technical people within the field, but we also want to grow their cultural capability so for the future they can be the ones that we are directly or indirectly dealing with on major projects that are important to the iwi. So you know, I'd like to see one of them in the very near future be the leading hand in one of the Ngaitahu Oricon uh, combined projects which would be really great. So it's a direct or indirect um, uh, advantage for the tribe in that, in that aspect I think. Yeah.